Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ruxin 34 Sassiato Mystery Pack that they've put out together. Uh, Ruxin is obviously one of the bigger Yu-Gi-Oh! channels here on YouTube, Sassiato uh, being one of the big eBay sellers. Um, Want to take a look at these packs, give you guys an honest feedback, uh, some honest reviews of it, uh, just kind of from an outside perspective, not being affiliated with Ruxin or Sassiato. Um, do you think that there is some potential here, uh, kind of just from the first initial look, um, from the packaging and then also with these two guys putting their names on it, um, obviously staking their reputation to it, uh, compared to the other mystery packs that we tend to deal with from those other companies. Uh, there's probably a little bit more reputation at stake. So I think that there's probably some good potential here of a better product, uh, than what it is. They're probably going to end up having to fine tune this a little bit. Um, so hopefully able to give them some good, honest feedback. Um, but also think that the product is probably going to have a little bit more potential to be better than what we traditionally see in the mystery packs, uh, that we typically open. And I also think that this is a good opportunity because we love mystery packs. Uh, so we'll take a look at it, kind of give an honest review, but also note the things that we really like about it. Uh, and then hopefully from there. Um, you know, if they manage to see the feedback, take it to heart. Uh, maybe we'll see a uh, mystery pack in the future that is better than anything else on the market. So kind of from the starting point, um, the first note is that these things basically, um, without the promo code, came out to be uh, about $50 a piece. Uh, and then with the promo code that they had, were about 45 total. Uh, the notes are that you get six packs from 2020 to 2022. The average retail price of each of these type of packs, uh, this runs from Legendary Duelist Magical Hero uh, through the most recent one, which is Battle of Legends Crystal Revenge. We're going to average these out. These are about $4 uh, worth a piece uh, here in the end. And then obviously when you buy mystery packs, you always want the biggest one total, uh, which is going to be this red tier. Do like the fact that they give you the odds up front of what you're going to be getting. So one in 10 uh, is going to put you in the red tier. Uh, the highest red tier packs obviously going to be LOB from back in the day. And that's about a $25 pack as well. So we'll put 25 there. Um, so we've got about $24 from the six packs up at the top, 25 there. So if you get the red tier, you probably get your sealed value back, uh, which is worth noting. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, nobody really likes to keep stuff sealed. We don't like to keep stuff sealed because that's not fun. Opening the packs are where it's at. So just worth noting, um, unless you kind of fall in the red tier, you're probably not going to get anything back in terms of true sealed value, but you are going to probably, um, you know, have a good time. So do like that. Uh, if you fall in the red tier, you probably can get your value back sealed. I like the fact that they list out the odds on the side here. Uh, it is worth noting. The six from that, eh, we'll see what we get. Obviously, we want to be farther back in time uh, towards the 2020 era, uh, so we get the older stuff. And then, obviously, we want to be higher up the tiers here. That's all luck of the draw, uh, which is the risk you take when you buy mystery packs, uh, which is where the fun lies. And so that's what we're here for. We want to take the chance. We want to see what we get. And let's get into it uh, and see if we get lucky. Um, and we're not going to leave anything sealed because that's boring. So I like the fact they put the odds on the front. I think the packaging is nice uh, and the full disclaimer up front is obviously, I think, one of the best things, better than any of the other mystery packs uh, that we see right off the bat. So we'll pull these open. Uh, so here's our six packs. That's good. And then we'll see what we get here. And we've pulled a purple. So we have the lowest tier one. So sealed value wise, we're probably not uh, rocking the best of the sealed value, but we'll crank into this one. So let's, uh, go through it real quick. See if we can get this damn thing open. All right. What did we get pack wise? These are all going to be from 2020 to 2022. We've got King's Corp, Power of the Elements, Synchro Storm. So Synchro Storm is a lower value pack. It goes from the past. Legendary Duelist Magical Hero is a great pack to get. That's the oldest one we can get in this. So we'll put that as the back. Original Ghost from the Past is pretty good. 
uh, and then the Mega Pack. So Legendary Duelist Magical Hero is the oldest of the 2020 packs. Uh, so that's where you start off. So let's get these open. We'll start with the Mega Pack and uh, see what we get real quick here and then see what we manage to get. We're just gonna go through these real quick. We don't really care about these, uh, the non-rares so much. So the odds on the front is great. Dryton Delta, Infernoble. We got El Shadal Construct as a secret rare. Opening of the Spirit Gates as an Ultra. Virtual World Kirin. Virtual World Phoenix uh, as a rare. And then Melfi uh, to wrap us out there. So nothing super great. El Shadal Construct is a decent card in this set, but uh, doesn't hit big value-wise. Uh, King's Court has been good to us. Let's, let's grab into that, see if we can get a collector rare out of the set here overall. All right, we got Constellar, Tolmy, we got the Wicked Dreadpoor, uh, we got the Wicked Eraser, we got Golden Eyes Idol, oops, we got Number F0 Utopic Future, Pendulum XYZ, and Number 49 Fortune Tune. So again, nothing great in that set. Synchro Storm is probably the worst of the packs you can get from this, next to Legendary Duelist Duel from the Deep. So probably not gonna be getting anything great out of it, but we could get that uh, Stardust Dragon. So we got, roll through this real quick, Noble Knight Joan and Totem Bird wraps this out. Let's uh, take a look at Power of the Elements. Do a pack trick on this one. We got Sprite, Pixies, Melfi Penny, we got Brandon Central Dogmatica, My Mrs. Elephant, Scar of the Vindred, Vernisilf, Cross Keeper, uh, and we skip right to Mathematech, our Mathematech Circular. Again, nothing great on that. We got Ghost from the Past One here. We'll see if we can get anything good out of that. I think these ones were right in the middle, weren't they? I hope so. We got Royal Prison, Drag Unity Legatus, Time Thief Winder, Drag Unity Phalanx, and Mask Change. So if there was anything good in that, uh, we didn't get it. And then we've got Legendary Duelist uh, Magical Hero, which is the best pack it's great to keep sealed. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do that. Uh, Dark Magicians is the best card in the set. Probably still. So we got Skyscraper, Spiral Flame Strike, Smile Action, Go 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 Giant, and we got Automatic Pickup. So not really going to leave anything sealed. That's lame. So that's the rule on the channel. Uh, we don't leave packs sealed. So let's see what our purple pack is. Uh, which is from 2016 to 2020 and it is a Battles of Legend Armageddon which is not a terrible pack in the end. We can get that 10,000 dragon. Huh? Maybe. Make up for the, uh, the terrible pulls on this. Again, another pack that's fantastic. Probably the keep sealed. It's worth probably 10 bucks sealed. Ooh, look at that corner. Not good. At least that's a non-rare. We got Vel your fawn, mystical beast of the forest. We got Ra's disciple. We got topologic Zeroboros, Numeron wall, and we got judgment dragon of heaven. Again, eh, probably didn't get anything super fantastic, but we did get a decent uh, set of pulls, decent pack. It's a good pack to have there. So didn't end up with anything too much. Again, probably in terms of value lost, but that's the risk you take when you buy mystery packs. Um, good variety. Every pack was different. Uh, so we'll go into the second one and see what we get. All right. Six packs again. Looks like we've got similar ones. I can see the mega pack up front uh, to start us off. And then color-wise, we've pulled purple again. So sealed value-wise, uh, we did not manage to be one of the people who ended up with the good odds of the one in five 
to get to even the silver tier. So we're looking for all of our value to be in pulls, uh, and we just haven't had any luck. Risk we take, it is what happens. But the fun is where we get this. And this is where I think feedback wise, um, again, King's Court, Dawn of Majesty is a new one in this one. Got Legendary Duelist again, Ghost from the Past One, and then Legendary Duelist Magical Hero, and the Mega Pack. My, my feedback point on this, and we'll open our Purple Pack as well to get it here. And I'm not so much worried about the duplicates between the two packs, because I don't think that that's going to be so much of an issue here. We'll open this up. These are kind of smushed in. This is another Battles of Legend Armageddon. So good cards to pull from here. I think that this a little bit smushed, but I don't have so much of an issue with that as well. But what I like is the variety across the packs. And I recognize that making these packs and putting them in costs money and you know there's profit to be made here. And you know, as a business, they gotta factor that in, especially Sassy Auto and everything. What I like is this, is this variety of packs, and it goes back to getting to that upper tier uh, on the red tier, the gold tier, things like that. If they make a pack, a mystery pack that was, okay, here are, you know, 10 packs, et cetera, of, you know, just packs from the past, you know, couple years, I actually think there's a good set of variety just for that as well. Not to actually even have to promise something up. I would love something where I can just say, okay, like, guys, send me something where you, give me, you know, 10 packs within the past two years. Let me buy in to, you know, 10 packs between 2016 and 2020 as well. Let me buy into that silver tier. Let me buy into those certain tiers. I would pay into those uh, for just the chance to get something, you know, random and pay into the separate tiers. Obviously they have to figure that out as a business uh, decision to be made, but I like that as a model as well. I think that I like having a variety of packs and without having to sit around and you know worry uh, about stuff being scaled. I know that I can probably trust these guys that put stuff out that is decent. Um, be like, okay, I can get like you know a good variety of packs here going. So I like that. I like the variety and know that I get okay when I buy one of these. I got six different packs. We got Perform Pal Turn Trooper here. Phantom Knights of the Stained Greaves. We got Dogmatic of Punishment, which is decent. We got Ghost Meets Girl. We got Gaia, oops, we skipped over one. We got Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. We got Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin. And then we've got a couple, uh, we'll just go through them real quick. We got the remaining commons to wrap us out here. But I like the fact that we can get a good variety of packs going. And I think that there's something that they could work with off of that alone is say, okay, well, we can bundle up, not even having to go into the upper tiers, bundle up lower tier packs, um, you know, like these ones from what they're calling the purple tier and just say, okay, bundle those up and sell them. Speed recovery. We got high speed droid Kydrag. I think I might've messed that one up. I didn't speed droid again, speed droid double yo-yo and then uh, Rush Warrior. Let's, uh, let's take a look at Ghost from the Past One. And I think that a lot of people would also, you know, take a chance on, you know, buying into Red Tier uh, as something as well. All right, this was Ghost from the Past One. So we got Mask Change, we got Royal Prison again, we got Backup Secretary, we got Metal Foes Gold Driver, and we got Starry Night Sky. Didn't get any of the Ghost Rares. Uh, let's take a look at Dawn of Majesty. Set never did me well here. So good odds, but terrible uh, pulls. Like like having the packaging with the with the odds up front. We got B Trooper, Doom Bear, Raw Ten. All right, we got a Maze Attraction. We got Magic Key. We'll skip over Glacier Aqua, which you guys missed. Two Toads. These cards just stick. Duncan Sioux Ship. And we got Die Gusta, which is just a super rare. Let's take a look here at King's Court. Always been good to us. Hopefully get a collector rare. We got Rescue Rabbit. We got the Wicked Dread Root. We skipped over Constellar Tolmy. Star Dress Zhao Long. We got Gravekeeper Spy. We got Reinforcement of the Army, the non-collector rare version, and Tindangle Doles. 
Let's do Legendary Duelist Magical Heroes. We got Gaga Ga Samurai, we got Jet Synchron, Miracle Fusion, Elemental Hero, Honest Neos is just a super rare, and Odd Eyes, Wizard Dragon. So nothing really great on the pulls for us today. Luck's not been there. And then we got Battles of Legend Armageddon. Hopefully we can get a great pull, get that uh, 10,000 Dragon. Or we can get, you know, Blackluster Soldier. And we got, right off the bat, Glacial Beast, Iceberg Narwhal. Forgot these are up front. We got Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Lion Emperor. We got number one, Numeron Gate Ekum, and Goyo Guardian, and Book of Moon, which is actually a decent card uh, for playing overall. So in the end, love the fact the odds are up on the front. Love the fact you can get your chance of the sealed value back. Uh, but I do think at the end, um, there is some room for improvement in terms of maybe mixing up more further value uh, from the end. So I appreciate you guys stopping in, uh, and we'll catch you all in the next video. You guys take care.